When it comes to changing oil in your classic Mustang, most of us remember the engine oil, but we forget about the gear oil in the rear end. Now, it doesn't have to be changed as often, but should be changed every 30 to 40,000 miles, depending how you drive your car. And today, we're going to show you how. Now, if you have the original 8 inch or 7 and a quarter inch rear in your classic Mustang, you'll notice there's a fill plug right here, but there is no drain plug. So the only way to really completely drain the rear is to take it apart. Pull the third member out, pull the axles all apart, and drain it that way. Now most of us are obviously not going to do that, so the best thing to do is actually use the fill tube and use a pump and then suction the old oil out and then replace it with new. So this is not a drain plug, it's a fill plug. So when you pull this plug out, in theory nothing should come out, but if the rear somehow did got over full, make sure you have some sort of a drain pan there. All you need is a half inch ratchet, pops right in. Now when you fill it, you're basically gonna fill it to the bottom of this opening here. I'm gonna stick my finger in, you can actually feel, yeah, there's actually not a lot of gear oil in here. It's pretty far at the bottom, so it's a good thing we're changing it out. What we want to use to do this is gonna be a generic fluid pump. Now there are much better versions of this you can buy. There's electric ones, there's all kinds of powered ones. This is about as cheap as they get. This is less than 10 bucks at Harbor Freight, but again, it'll do the job. And this is something you're not gonna do all the time. So you don't need any kind of crazy high-end tools to do it. A basic simple pump will do the job. Basically put the tube down the bottom of the diff. It'll take a couple times to get it rolling here. I'm gonna pump out the old oil. And this is like molasses, so it's been in here a long time. Make sure you move the tube around there to get as much oil as possible. You're not gonna get all of it out, but you can get most of it out and it's very easy to do. See, we got a good amount of gear oil out of it. I mean, this stuff is pretty nasty, probably has not been changed in a long time. But again, doing it this way, you can get most of the bad stuff out and replace it with some new oil. So we have our new gear oil here. We're going with 8090, which will work fine for this differential. Again, depending on your diff, you may need some additives to it, but normal oil is mostly gonna be fine. And there's a couple ways you can fill this. They do have these nozzles, you can kind of put it up there and just sort of squirt it in. But since we have the pump to drain it, we're gonna use the same pump to fill it up. I'm gonna put one tube in, put the other second tube that we have in our new gear oil, and then connect them both to the pump. Again, I mean, it, this rear will hold four pints, so we're talking two quarts. Basically, you're gonna fill it until you just see it just start to drip out and then it's full. Okay, we're just starting to get a drip. That means we're full. We can reinstall the fill plug. Snug this up. Again, don't crank it to the moon, but get it snug. And you're all finished. Changing the gear oil in the rear end is something a lot of people forget to do. But again, if you want to keep your car working properly, changing fluids is a must. And as you saw, this is pretty simple to do. You literally need a drain pan, some sort of a pump, and just a half inch ratchet. Again, it's a simple job. It'll keep your Mustang running well for years to come.